Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for October 10th, 2022. Well, it's Columbus Day, everyone, and our federal banks and things are closed down today. So we might end up with a little bit of relaxation here in the market. Maybe um, the market will breathe a little sigh of relief when it comes to the selling because the bond markets are also closed today. So what does that mean for today's price action activity? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can pick up on some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Certainly Friday selling after the jobs number came out uh, disappointed a lot of those folks that were speculating that the bottom was in. Hooray, the bottom is in. Um, well, maybe not just yet. And as you can see, pushing down, we made a lower high um, in the Dow and uh, on Friday with that selling we broke some support here in the chart so really the only support we have left here in the diamonds is the low of the year so we'll want to keep watching for that however with this little bit of relief today we might have that opportunity that we could rally back up a little bit toward those resistance levels in the chart I couldn't rule that out but if we do find reasons for bearishness, then just keep in mind a test of down here would not be out of the question. And I think the big question is if we test down there, will that hold or it will we push on through confirming our downtrend in the chart once again? So watch carefully for that. There are those out there that are still hoping that the Fed is going to pivot. Um, so far, we've seen no evidence of that, and the data would tend to suggest that, no, the Fed, Fed's probably on the right track. Now, when I say right track, that doesn't mean it won't break the market, because I, I think we've got some real serious issues here coming into play. But watch for that possibility. If they do pivot, we could easily see uh, that double bottom type pattern um, in the market. So watch carefully. Then if we take a look at our technicals here, well, unfortunately, our technicals are pretty darn dismal. 200 crossing down through the 500. We really haven't improved anything. Our 50-day moving average continuing to move lower as our shorter-term averages continue to place a cap on the market along with the price resistance out there. If we were to take a look at our SPY, very much the same. Um, we pushed down pretty hard on Friday. We broke some support levels in this chart, as you can see, breaking some support. Um, confirming the lower high here in the market. Um, if we can get some rally going today, bulls can find some inspiration, then certainly look for a rally back, maybe to test some price resistance right here in the chart. But once again, if those bears find that inspiration, then I would watch carefully for a retest of the lows of the year um, on the SPY and maybe even that possibility of more lows here if uh, the bears find that inspiration. If we take a look at the NASDAQ, very similar situation. NASDAQ is running pretty darn tough here. And as you can see, we came very, very close to uh, pushing down here and already testing a new low um, here in the market. And you can see that little bit of bearishness here this morning with tech selling off um, more with new US um, regulations on Chinese stocks coming out, um, creating some pressure in there. So if we can rally back, if we can find some kind of bullishness, well, watch for a little bit of um, rally back up to maybe test some resistance levels here in the chart but it really wouldn't be all that all that difficult to see that bearishness um, in the tech sector continue to push us down and maybe even make some new lows on the year here in the nasdaq now our silver lining in the market happens to come in the small caps in the russell as you can see we did fail at the downtrend here and we failed along some price resistance in the chart but we haven't uh, broken all the way down yet. Notice we have some price support 
in the chart that's holding us right in here and we haven't pushed all the way down so if those bulls can find inspiration then i would look to iwm for maybe some upside opportunity now certainly we have quite a bit of resistance here in this chart to deal with but a rally back up toward that downtrend line wouldn't be out of the question um, but then again if the bears find that inspiration then it really wouldn't be all that hard to see that possibility that we could continue to trend lower down in here um, on those areas and maybe test the low of the year or of the year here in the Russell. So fingers crossed that the bears don't have anything to grab a hold of today. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX um, responded about like you would expect on Friday, but what was interesting in here is it didn't show us any panic in the market it was really pretty well controlled we held on to that trend we held on to support now today with you know banks being closed bond markets being closed maybe we can um, try to ig ignore the rising bonds the bond yields anyway uh, maybe we can try to ignore that a little day today and get a little bullish action in here, but we don't have any earnings reports or anything really going on. There is some Fed speak here we'll talk about in just a second, but not much to really provide a lot of inspiration. And once again, watch this area up here. If we were to break above there, I think there'll be a real attitude shift in the market that could seriously bring in that capitulation um, event so watch carefully uh, for that a pullback in here um, would be an or a little bit of rest would be um, actually not not harmful at all to the market so a little bit of rest might um, give us um, um, well, at least a day of choppy relaxation, I should say. If we take a look at our T2122, T2122 looking at it, if we take a look, you can see we're back down here in the bearish reversal zone um, of the market. It does tell us that if the bears find inspiration, we still have room to move to the downside, but we've certainly opened up a big opportunity to the upside if the bulls can find inspiration right in here you can see what we ended up doing this whipsaw is an emotional move with everybody buying that narrative that the fed was going to suddenly pivot because of the un coming out and saying oh my gosh um well everyone needs to recognize that the un doesn't run the united states and the fed should not be listening to the un to make their policy decisions so keep an eye on this i think the fed is going to at least lean into this a little bit more um, based on those jobs numbers that we saw on friday so watch carefully um, there's no reason to believe that we still can't go lower and i think the fed is going to continue on this path until something breaks in the market and they can start bringing these inflationary factors down if we take a look at our t2107 t2107 pulled back um, on friday but notice it didn't really um, create any damage here which is interesting um, with the strength of the selling that we saw but as you can see we're holding that downtrend we reacted negatively to that resistance area in the chart but we didn't break any support levels no new lows were made so fingers crossed um, t2107 may be stiffening up here a little bit and if we take a look at um, t2108 well t2108 also suffered a little bit of a pullback now i do think this is a bit more on that bearish side here very steep trend there we've got this trend here that we rejected um, in, in the chart we have quite a little bit of price resistance in here you know and 21 percent of the stocks holding above their 40-day moving average is kind of rough to make a bullish case on but it is showing us that oversold condition so you could hang your hat on the hopes that maybe we can catch a little bit of relief let's take a look at our t2101 whoops oh for pete's sake sorry guys now you know that this is not edited 
I don't know how I did that. I ended up turning on a music player. Um, T2101. Um, I'll get it right here eventually. T2101 um, continues to pull back in here with that selling that came into the market. This has been really, really choppy. And I think one of the reasons we have experienced that kind of chop is because we, uh, well, the last two or three days as we pulled back, we seem to lose a little bit of the momentum um, here in the market. Volume dried up a little bit. I think it's just the uncertainty about what comes the remainder of this week. So what does that mean? Well, let's take a look here. First off, on our economic calendar, we've got a day that's just like um, unbelievably boring with the uh, federal banks closed, with the bond market closed. We've got Charles Evans is going to speak today at 9 o'clock investor momentum or, or movement index um, on there and who cares um, so not much going on on the economic calendar um, to worry the market but what we'll be thinking about we'll be thinking about this a PPI number on Wednesday the FOMC minutes on Wednesday a CPI number on Thursday jobless claims on Thursday and then of course retail sales uh, coming in here on Friday. So those are the kind of things we're gonna be thinking about and wondering about uh, two days of, of waiting, really hurry up and wait while we wait for some of these big data numbers to come out that could definitely move the market substantially. And then on the earnings calendar, we've got another hurry up and wait. Um, we have zero um, uh, reports today on the economic or on the earnings calendar because we're just kind of in that dry period here, heading into the kickoff of the fourth quarter earnings, which begins on Thursday officially with a few of the big banks starting to report. And it really picks up Friday and even Monday, I think, Goldman Sachs reports of next week. So we've got this hurry up and wait in the in the earnings season calendar. Um, there could be some anticipation in there. We know there's an awful lot of manipulation going on in those earnings because we downgrade the earnings expectations, hoping that the company can beat those earnings expectations. But the thing that we're starting to see is a lot more of earnings warnings and downgrades coming out like we saw in AMD coming out and warning saying they're likely going to miss. So um, be watchful for that. We could be very, very sensitive to a new cycle on those kind of things if companies continue to come out with these warnings saying, yeah, well, there's trouble ahead for us. So watch that close. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you can please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be noticed, notified every time I post a video. And if you do find these videos worthy, if you do find them helpful, if you could please click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. I do try to answer all of those and I thank you all so much for taking the time to do it. I know it gets a bit monotonous doing that every single market day, but um, I do truly appreciate it and it helps support the effort of putting these videos out every market day. Let's take a look at um, some of these stocks that could be setting up. And remember guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, we're gonna have to do our own due diligence, make sure you're staying very, very focused on your rules, your guidelines, your risk tolerance, because the way the market is moving around, there is sufficient risk out here in the market that can just really hurt your account terribly. As a matter of fact, I suspect with the big whipsaw and that narrative that came in that the Fed might pivot probably hurt a lot of folks that rushed in to buy. I saw social media feeds all over the place. The bottom is in, the bottom is in, you know, buy, buy, buy. Well, um, I'm guessing there's a lot of folks that got hurt pretty, uh, pretty bad um, on that move. So be really careful. Watch what the institutions are doing, not what they're saying, 
pay a close attention because we're not seeing a big effort from institutions to be, uh, you know, that they're buying and buying and buying. We're not seeing that. So be kind of careful. Stay with the trend. Let's take a look at a few of these stocks. Now, first off, as you guys know, I've mentioned Netflix a few times here um, with that possibility that this could pop through that resistance in the chart and maybe pop up into that gap. But as we kind of got a couple of more of those, um, you know, tech uh, warnings out there last week, we faded on this quite a bit. And those little upside um, holds that I was kind of hanging my hat on, well, they faded pretty heavily here on Friday um, this week, pushing this down. So I would be a little bit careful here with Netflix. It is certainly possible this can reverse and bounce right back up into that area of resistance. But I think at this point, I would just set this one aside and wait. There may be that possibility as we head toward earnings that we could create a lower high and actually see more selling in that chart. Let's take a look at our um, US dollar, the UUP, this is the uh, dollar ETF. And as you can see, that US dollar continues to surge to the upside. So we're going to have to watch that carefully. Despite the bond market being closed, the dollar is strengthening today. And that does not bode well for the overall market condition. So watch that closely. And as that continues, well, that's going to run some problems here for gold that started to move up gold was moving up pretty good last week in the hopes that the dollar was weakening but unfortunately that kind of hope is is being dashed against the rocks here uh, pushing that back down so gold silver I think these could still be in that short setup market um, you might want to take a look at um, um, oil um, if we take a look at XLE, XLE is also pulling back a little bit today um, as a result of the strength of the dollar, I think. And this is what I want to see. I need to see oil resting and consolidating because I think I want to get long oil. Um, with OPEC doing its thing of um, reducing production um, and the uh, where we are in our economy, I would suspect that we could see oil continuing to rise into the winter here. So I want to look for that resting pullback in here and see if we can hold some support levels. And then I want to get long. And you can see what I've just drawn there might be an inverted head and shoulders pattern forming in that chart. So watch carefully here on energy stocks. Uh, I think there may be opportunity for upside here um, because I, I the, the situations don't seem to be getting any better. Um, and our choices, unless the administration um, allows the industry out there to start drilling and, and exploring here in the United States, um, our choices are kind of limited as to where we're going to get our oil from. Um, let's take a look at um, uh, some of these other stocks. There, there was um, a little bit of effort showing up in some retail, trying to get things moving. And we talked about that, that opportunity, but unfortunately, those have also faded here. And I think a rally back up here would set up another opportunity to short um, in the chart. I did see um, stock like GPS. GPS was trying to hold up here. That might be a retail to be watching for because it is breaking that downtrend, holding a higher low. And there is that opportunity that that might move on higher here. So keep an eye. There are a few retailers out there trying to hold up. Um, in those charts. Other places that you guys might want to look is take a look at some of the inverse ETFs. If you like long trading only and don't want to short, uh, these inverse ETFs um, have rallied right back up off of that trend. Any rest or pullback in here might set up that opportunity and we can attack those areas. And that would be if we break lows in the market, then we could pick up through there. Take, particularly take a look at um, um, like PSQ. And the reason I show PSQ um, um, is because it is a one for one on the QQQ, one for one inverse. So it's not heavily leveraged. And when you see um, this chart, you see that opportunity 
quite clearly that there's the possibility that that could break that resistance right there uh, maybe even today if the qqq falters so watch that carefully this may be an opportunity yet if it rests or pulls back that would set up a better entry with less risk in the trade so watch carefully um, psq and then other things like uh, dog um, out there sh those are also one by inverse etfs um, that you could keep an eye on for some of those long position trades so with that guys i'm going to suggest being very very careful here keep your powder dry um, later this week we're likely going to see lots of volatility um, around these reports coming out so just plan your risk, carefully protect that capital. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Be safe, and I'll see you right back here, bright and early, Tuesday morning. I wish you all the best.